Yo, what's good, everybody, man? It's your boy, Cole B, and uh, Mig. Sheesh, today, y'all, we got a really special video for y'all boys, man. We got episode number 14 out already, man. Episode 14 is going to be featuring Randy Orton and Seth Rollins at March 29th, 2015, WrestleMania 31. This mission is called Security Won't Protect You, man. Attacked and put out of action by Seth Rollins and the authority. Randy Orton is out for revenge. An unhinged Viper is never a good thing, and Seth Rollins may find out that he is ready to strike from any angle. Now, I remember back then, especially with the authority, man, they was abusive. They power, they was abusive, man. Seth Rollins, he was like they little protect, they, he, they was, the authority was like Seth Rollins, like, how I don't want to put this, Seth Rollins' authority road, it was making him the golden child, basically. That was the authority's golden child. So they did everything in their power to keep Seth Rollins safe, man. And I just feel like at this time, bro, Seth Rollins, he was actually fire. I ain't going to lie. He had uh, J&J security. And on top of that, he had the championship. And, you know, he ended up going with the authority after he ended up turning on the shield. So it was fire, you know, I like this little whole run with the authority and the authority having the abusive power and shit like that, man. This shit was kind of cool to watch back then. But anyways, I'm not going to hold y'all boys up, man. This is episode number 14, so without further ado, let's do what they do and get right into the episode, man. Let's get it. Let's go. Quite possibly the most jaw-dropping result in WrestleMania history. The Undertaker streak ends at the hands of Brock Lesnar. The looks on the faces of those in attendance told us everything. Nobody saw this coming. Our next match takes us to the greater Bay Area of Northern California and WrestleMania 31 in 2015. Seth Rollins had been on top of the world ever since he decided to leave the shield behind to do the bidding of the authority. This move paid off instantly as he'd capture the Money in the Bank briefcase in July of 2014. Rollins was untouchable, protected by those in power, and with the knowledge that at any moment he could turn that briefcase into the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. All seemed to be well within the ranks of the authority, but the harmony would not last long. Randy Orton, who had been the authority's top hand until Rollins joined the ranks, didn't seem so happy with the favoritism his former rival was now enjoying. This would come to a head with Rollins attacking Orton following a tag team match, connecting with his vaunted stomp to make it clear that their association was now over. The Viper was furious, attempting to get revenge, but never quite finding it. Another stomp from Rollins would force Orton out of action for a few months, with Rollins bragging about his actions the entire time. But at Fastlane in February of 2015, Orton would make his return following a six-man tag featuring Rollins, delivering RKOs to everyone who got in his way. But as luck would have it, Rollins would manage to escape unharmed. Orton made it clear he wanted one thing, and one thing only, Seth Rollins at WrestleMania. Orton wanted to show the authority they made a huge error in backing Rollins instead of Orton, and he was gonna make an example of their new golden boy. The pressure's on. Can you humble Seth Rollins in front of an enormous WrestleMania audience, or will this legend be the one you can't kill? The stomp meets the RKO. Next. Yeah, this was around the time when he won the money in the bank and then he cashed in on, uh. Brock Lesnar later on. I think it was Brock versus Roman. And that was a great ass matchup too. Woo! Let's get it. Randy Orton had that phenomenal ass RKO when Seth Rollins tried to go for the stump. I st still remember that to this day. Okay, we gotta do a neck breaker in the ring. He reversed it. Mm. That's how you feel it, Seth? Got J and J security out there. Orton and Rollins struggled early to take command of the match, mirroring the struggle for power the two had while both associated with the authority. Orton was all business. He knew that Rollins was dangerous, and he wasn't going to make any mistakes just trying to show off. Rollins, on the other hand, wanted to make his mark on the event, and he knew that a victory over Orton would send a message to the entire WWE roster. 
This need to make a statement almost cost Rollins when Orton followed up a drop kick with an attempt at the RKO. Was Rollins' arrogance going to cost him? Did he respect Orton's ability at all? It was Orton, though, who'd make the next mistake. Chasing Rollins around the ringside area and back in, where Rollins set him up for a devastating hot shot on the ropes. Just like that, Rollins had neutralized Orton's offense and looked ready to pour it on further. What adjustments would Orton have to make now that his RKO had failed him? And would he be able to make them in the moment against mm -mm. Rollins? No, 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 Steph. No, 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 Steph. I said Steph. It's funny. Alright. We gotta end this with a heavy combo and inflict more damage on him. No, no, Seth. That's press. Got him. Okay, we gotta do a combo. Here we go. He's trying to go for the pin. He's trying to be sneaky. Got him, come on. Belly to belly. No, Seth. Can't do that to me. Get him. Get up. Get up, Seth. Gotta do a running move on him. Try for another RKO, knowing that the quick strike would be the end of Rollins whenever it hit. Every time Orton seized control, those two goons in Rollins' security would try and distract Orton or even outright interfere. With the backing of the authority, officials were hesitant to disqualify Rollins or even have his security removed. With Rollins temporarily halted, Orton would look to remove Rollins' security from the equation himself. Was Orton making a mistake by leaving Rollins to recover? While we all pondered these questions, Seth Rollins provided the answer by wiping Orton out with a breathtaking suicide dive. Orton had squandered his advantage in the match for now. Yeah, they had three tables at this WrestleMania and we only got two. Try to focus on your attached to the head of the torso. No, I did not want to put my hands on the security, bro. This nigga keep doing, doing the same shit, bro. Come on, bro. Keep letting Seth Rollins do this, bro. Thank you. Let him spam that. Oh, wow, he threw me back in the ring. Come on out here. Come on, Seth. Yo, come on out here. Come on, Seth, I'm waiting on you. I ain't gonna run out? Okay. I got you. Oh, you gonna throw me out. Come on, Seth. Come out here. Thank you. So now we have to get him at the top rope and bring him back. Throw me back in the ring, Seth. Thank you. Yo, get up there. Get him with that suplex. Ready? Oh, he reversed it. I felt it. Yep. Tough. Wow, good swing blade. He got me on that. Reverse that though. Need to get him at the top rope.
Got him reversed that. Nice. Focus right now, y'all. I'm kind of letting y'all enjoy the gameplay. Trying to get him on this top rope. Please don't reverse this. Thank you. Now we got to head to the top rope and do a diving attack. Mm. I don't know when Randy has ever done that. Hit him with the RKO. All right, we got to store three finishers. All right, we finally got our three finishers. Now it says head northwest. Northwest corner. For the super finisher. Orton had finally put Seth in a bad spot and backed into the corner, looking to deliver his infamous punt kick. But like they had already multiple times, Rollins' security ran back into the ring, where they'd both eat RKOs for their trouble. Once again, Rollins took advantage of the distraction, ceasing all of Orton's pressure with a stomp. The same stomp that had taken Orton out of action for months. He's reversing it. He ain't ready. Get him again. Keep beating his ass. He ain't ready. Go ahead, Randy. Do your thing. Wow, that stunned me. Ain't no way, bro. Here, Randy, the stunt. The stunt. Let's get it. Stumped him, huh? I guess I did it. <laughs> Supposed to have to do the actual stunt. Rollins would have made another attempt at the RKO as he had done throughout the match. But then. Alright, guys, that's gonna do it for this showcase, man. Episode number 14, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. I think I said that earlier. I be forgetting which uh, episode I'm on, man. You know, I just did so many of these. Let me see. Let's count them out. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, this is 14. And then we're going to have Seth Rollins cashing in on Brock Lesnar versus Roman Reigns. Wrestle Money in the Bank. That is what is going to be the next episode. Is wrestle money in the bank. But I hope you guys enjoyed, man. I'm going to see y'all boys in episode number 15, man. Peace. Sheesh.